This is not Winter's Run 1. I don't know how to take this. Not gonna bother. It wasn't recording the last one. Sorry? It wasn't recording. Oh, the last one? No, it wasn't. No. I stopped it. Oh, did you stop it? Yeah. Stopped. Oh, okay. I'm on left jack. I stopped it. Alright, you guys stop it. Yeah, Fox Squirtle. Squirtle loses. But does Dan know enough about Squirtle to win? That's the question. Yeah, probably not, honestly. Yeah, probably not. Dylan's been using... Oh. Dylan's been using a lot more downers. And I like it. I think downers are really good move. Yeah. He keeps saying he's tired, but honestly, like, Dylan's always tired. It has to be just, like, a normal thing for him. Yeah. The, the question is, like, how much will SDs back to You know? Because, like, that's that's Dylan's thing, right? Hopefully it won't. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely has to DI up there, because down throw won't kill you at 60. But forward throw fair will definitely kill you at 60. Dylan going for the same combo, Dan recognizing how he has to DI that and DI's out properly. Maybe SDI, I'm not sure. Yep, Dylan has a good lead though. Squirtle yeah. definitely wins the punish game in this matchup. Or or more specifically, Dylan wins the punish game in this matchup. Yeah, Dan um, yeah. And like all of his combos have been like two, three hits or like getting a read in neutral or something. And Dylan's really been converting off of almost every hit. Yeah. 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 It's hard, dude. Ne Squirrel's neutral is like not something you just understand. Like you, you have to you have to really think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those things where once you realize how bad it is, it's like wow, that's really bad. But before you see that, you think it's actually just busted. No. He should have gone for back air, I think. I think back air would have been the better choice, because he could have gone into an edge guard there. Honestly, maybe, yeah. Now it's three stocks to one. Um, pretty clean advantage. Like, Dylan can still SD and be ahead. He needs that, he needs that buffer. Alright, alright. Thank you for this back. Yeah, Dan can definitely bring this back. I don't think I don't think Fox was the pick though. He doesn't seem to be like comboing properly. He doesn't really seem to understand how to win neutral consistently. And he's just laser. dying. Yeah. Well, laser really. I don't know if laser's great in this matchup. Dead. Yeah. That was good. That's that's what he needs. Yeah. Can he get another one, or will Dylan just clean it up? Yep. He does not down tilt. Oh, down tilt. I know there's this thing that Dylan tells me where like you can cover all of Fox's options with down smash. But I have yet to see it, so yeah, I'm definitely definitely a little skeptical. Oh, he died in. He could have killed him. Border, edge guard, uh, grab ledge, back air. Could have back. Yeah, he should have gone out for it. Down throw. He died in. Next, next down throw will probably kill, unless he holds like straight in, I guess. Yeah, he is. Up throw up air. Up tilt up air. Mike, would it have killed it? Seven, probably, actually. He's dead. Yeah. Alright, game went to dirt. That was, a, that was like clean. Yeah, he was definitely getting a little, he, he was definitely getting a little spooked. I like the Marth pick. Um, so there's good things and bad things about Marth. Um, the stage counter picks are a lot more obvious. Um, and the neutral is a lot easier. However, once Squirtle gets in on you, like Squirtle runs a train on Marth, right? I wouldn't say at all that Marth loses the matchup, but it's one of those things where the character has such good short, fast moves that once he gets in, he can just pressure Marth's slow startup on a lot of his stuff. Forward throw? Yep. Back air, back air. Wait, what? Went for the swag. No, no one's not getting the sweet spot. Yeah, it is spacing well, yeah. Wonder about this counter pick. Because I feel like Squirtle does does not really like I guess the the platforms help up airs, obviously. But 
Platforms also help Mark a lot, and they make Squirrel's approach path sometimes more obvious. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's definitely, it's probably still a good suit, but he needs to stop being DIing in on the So I haven't seen him do anything other than DIing in. Yep. That was a really good bubble. I, need, I think Dylan needs to use that move way more. It's so good. Good luck, Jack. This ring has been so sad for me. I arrived late, so I couldn't play doubles. And then... I, like... I couldn't, uh, I couldn't play my rounds. I got a bye round one. And then I couldn't play my round two. Because he just didn't show up. So I'm sitting in winners round three without playing a single game. It's pretty, it's actually pretty frustrating. Like, it's, I came in and really wanted to get one up, but it's hard. Anyways, stop talking about myself. Let's talk about this match. Down tilt, yep. He just folds in for the full combo. Squirtle, I believe against Mark has to guess more on the on the DI uh, for uppers, just because of how floaty Mark is. Uh, down air doesn't get the knockup. Uh, Randy forward smash. Back air, no, nope, he goes for the nair. Um, this is one forward throw up smash. Oh, he goes, dude, Dylan, you, you have to you have to recognize that he is not doing anything but DI. You have to punish him. For that. Dan has not DI'd out on a throw ever in this entire set. He's gonna down throw here. Yep, and it'll kill him. There it's fine, but you have to realize that he has DI'd in on everything. You should, at 100%, you should grab his ass and forward throw off him. There's no reason to hold back on him. Just doesn't throw him. Back throw, yep. I mean, down throw, sorry. Good air dodge. That was actually really smart. He's been recovering low. Dylan actually pretty notorious for recovering low like, every time. Um, down throw? Yeah. Um, yeah, you have to DI. You have to DI away on that. Because forward smash probably won't kill you with good DI. Forward air. Yeah, there's, they're even on stocks. Um, Dan's, Dan's been able to keep this competitive, but Dylan messing up his inputs at like a crucial moment. Oh! Oh! That was so brutal. Can we play on stream? They're almost done. They have one game left. I gotta run melee too. No player match in melee. Playing Captain Falcon. Dan going through the plethora of melee characters. This matchup is is a it's a spicy one. As in, I'm pretty sure Squirtle does quite well. What is he gonna ban? Dylan, where does he go? Eh? Fog? How much does Dylan trust his movement? I don't like Big Stage. I like these dad. That's fine. I think Smash will make a little better, but he's dead. Oh, they get PS1. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, okay, okay. Game three, Falcon versus Squirrel. Um... So this match is actually relatively hard for Falcon. Uh, it's really hard for Falcon to actually get the hits. So if if Dan can get the hits on uh, on if sorry if Swan can get the hits on Derpinator, um, he will be able to definitely take this. It's just will he be able to start getting the hits in the first place? And Dylan, his his goal is pretty much the opposite. He wants to avoid getting hit. Uh, the punish game. If he can stop all of Falcon's big big openings. Um, the punch game is definitely in his favor. Nick Zach, why are you why are you sitting down? You know nothing about this. Game. I know I want to hear what you have to say because a lot of the stuff you say probably has a lot of insight. Uh, 
So okay. I'm gonna be like the uninformed viewer that's gonna ask you all the questions that you don't get to ask. Oh commentary. god, okay. Okay, he tries to cover the tech option with dash turnaround. Um, it just messes up. Up throw knee, I don't believe works. Should he have down throw? I don't know if down throw knee works. It's real so weird, what's, man. What's Falcon's best throw then at that percent? Like up throw up air. I okay. feel like would have been better. Okay. I, I just don't feel like up throw knee connects. Maybe, maybe like up throw up air and like try and read a jump or something. Okay. I think that'd be pretty good. Anyways, I was saying before the matchup is uh, it's it's even because it's hard for Falcon to hit Squirtle, but if the Falcon can hit Squirtle, he fucks him up. Oh, yeah. So. Wait, but isn't Falcon fast? Falcon's fast, yeah, but Squirtle's tiny, right? Okay. So if Squirtle crouches. One so of his grab goes uh, over, over top. Yeah. yeah. Uh, up air goes over top, air goes over top. The only thing that hits that low is, uh... Side B. Side B, down air, forward air. Okay. They'll all hit that low. Yeah, he misses the meteor cancel. Dan's been playing really well this game. His Falcon's looking good. And Dylan, like, after he lost the last game, he just looked a little shaky. This is winners? Uh, no, this is losers. Okay. I didn't update the... Yeah, I know. I don't know how to do this. I just hate it. Unlike Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Up air. Does me just take too long to come out, or what? I don't think it hits high enough. Okay. Yeah, he's been intercepting me. Yeah. I just don't think, uh, I don't think the knee hits high enough. Do you think Falcon side B is useful in this matchup? Yep, it absolutely is. Why is he down being so often when he's coming on the stage? The Falcon? Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, that feels like it just has too much light. It definitely does. However, jumping is better in this game because you have side B at ledge like that. Okay. So like if it goes to ledge, Falcon grabs the ledge yeah, in this game. Yeah. So recovering low is actually you have more options as Falcon. Wait, so did, well, would down B grab ledge then? No. Down B you still have to you still have to end the down B to grab ledge. Okay. It's just, I'm just saying like if he goes lower because of the down B, even though it's laggy, it's uh he has a lot of opportunities to get back to you. Now, see, he crouched under it. Does so Falcon's grab, like, at Squirtle's normal height uh, connect? Yes. Okay. It's just when he's down to like, and pressure. Okay. Back here. Yeah. Back here. Air. I like it. Yeah, I guess it must be harder to get Falcon. It's harder for Squirtle because his moves are really, really weak. Um, typically, like, weak moves are good for Gimping if they have a relatively all right base. But the angle that Squirtle's aerials send at and their base knockback is just so bad that it's actually difficult to get with. Okay. Like, not even his smash attack, do you have a read? Smash attack's on a read, sure. But his down smash sends up, his up smash sends up. Oh. Yeah. What about his up smash? Up that smash definitely sends to the side, yeah. Okay, that's a good... is it good for edge guarding? Not really, it doesn't hit very low, I don't think. Okay. Does it have a good up tilt, or does it send up? It sucks. It's really weak. But Dan, he's dead. Yep, that's it. Because a lot of the uh, smaller characters in the game just seem like different versions of Pikachu. In my opinion. Yeah.